Hey, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. Well, I'm a little worried about this bird. Now, inside this this thing right here, there's a uh, thing inside there that twists like this, and that blocks and then opens up the inside of this thing. So I twisted it a while ago and I heard the scratching going on. So I think the bird is down here sitting on top of this thing. And why it doesn't go down, I don't know. So I might have to turn it and try and get it to go down, drop into the... Once it drops in here, then it can fly out. But if it's just going to stay there, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. So let's see what happens. Yeah, the bird's down in there. Okay. The bird is down there. It's one of those uh, vampire birds, I think. Some bitch. So, we don't know what's going to happen now, but we'll open the door. The other day, I opened the freaking door, and there was right here, there was this, you can see the remains of it right there. It was this centipede the size, I swear, that centipede was the size of a, Squirrel. It's a squirrel sized centipede. Okay, buddy. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, I don't know if it's trying to go back through the top. Yeah, there it is. It's there. It's down in there. Okay. So now what we're going to do. We're going to block this thing off so it can't get back up in there. So it's just going to, yeah, there it is. That's a pretty big one. It's like an eagle or something. Okay, we'll just let him hang out there for a while. And, uh, but you know what? I got him in the stove. I could set the stove on fire and have roasted bird. I don't think so. So anyway, it's sitting there on top of all that uh, paper. So it's just going to relax a while. I got the door open. I think I'm going to put a fan over there to uh, give it the idea that there's some sort of uh, breeze going. And maybe that will get it to do its thing. We'll open up this door. I hope we don't get any more snakes coming in the door. Because there was a snake on this porch too earlier, like last year. Small snake. I don't like that idea, but what are you going to do? Okay, let's move the fan over there and create some sort of a breeze or something to see if we can get the bird to at least think it's outside. I mean, that's my thinking. I mean, I'm not really much of a bird expert. My expertise is in cars, automobile mechanics. Okay, little birdie. We got some wind here. Look at that wind. Okay, what we're going to do is just let the bird hang out there for a while, and eventually it will do its thing. So it's uh, probably very stressed out. So we'll just let it uh, hang out there for a while. And. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, well, I've been thinking, and my expert lies in bird horticulture. So I've decided that since the bird's in there, basically exhausted from its uh, ordeal, which has been going on for about probably four or five hours in there, what I'm going to do is put on some gloves. go in and see if I can get the bird and then take it outside because uh, if the bird comes to its senses or gets excited and then flies it can actually crash into a bunch of stuff and hurt itself so I'm, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do 
So I'm thinking, well, maybe that's a good idea. So I'm going to put on some gloves so I don't get uh, the bird flu or whatever. If I can find some. And uh, see about getting this bird outside. Where are my gloves? This is the story of my freaking life. I mean, I just need a pair of gloves. They can be winter gloves. It doesn't matter. They can be, I can put some socks on my hands. There's a, there's one glove right there, but, okay, let's see here. These gloves have freaking holes in them. These are official gloves. These are like surgical gloves. So we're going to see if this is going to work. Hope I don't hurt the bird. I think I'm trying to help the bird. I hope that I am. I'm going to put on some safety glasses because I don't want the bird to fly and hit me with its beak or something in the eye because you may not know it, but... Uh, Birds have poison beaks here. I can't see. I can't see with these freaking safety glasses. I can't see. So as a result, I have to get other safety glasses. Where are my safety glasses? Oh, man. I have a pair of clear safety glasses I mean there's I mean it should be right here I mean it's the story of my freaking life I'm telling you cuz I remember seeing those safety glasses I think they're over here See, I'm letting the I'm letting the uh, the horror of the entire experience, the suspense, build. Okay, I'll just wear these. It should work. Okay, let's see if we can get this bird out of here. can't even see in there. I literally cannot see in there. Okay, there, there is the bird. The bird is in there. The bird is alive and awake. So, Man, come on, bird, just fly, fly out of there, you fucker. Uh-oh, now it's going to start going down into the fucking bowels of this trash. Oh, shit, hell, damn, piss. Oh, fuck. Oh, this sucks fucking ass. This literally sucks fucking ass. There we go. Look at the size of that fucker. Now go out some, oh boy, oh shit. Fucking crashed and burned. Look at the size of that son of a gun. Here I'm trying to use the, use the, uh, use the light as my camera. It's a big bird. It's the size of an eagle. There he is, right there. Okay, look at the size of that son of a bitch. There you go. Oh, outside, you fucker. The door's open. For crying out loud. All right. So the bird's up there. There you go. Down. 
The door is open. Okay. I'm getting my gun, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay. I'm gonna just let the bird do its little thing. Eventually, it'll get the message. So, we should see it flying out. I'd like to, I, I want to keep it if I can in the kitchen area. There we go. No, not yet. I want to keep it in the kitchen area so it, because there's the door. I mean, the door's right there, buddy. Look at the size of that bird. There we go, there you go. There you go, now go down. It's, the bird is totally stressed out. Sorry, bird. I think I'm gonna put some, some aspirins down there for the bird too, so it can relax. Oh well, now the bird's doing its thing, I can hear it, but it's not leaving anywhere. Maybe I'll put this bird over there by the, Oh man. So when we go up to look, do we do we go up and uh try and take care of look at the size of the beak on that son of a gun. It's a good thing I it is a good thing that I'm wearing my safety glasses. Now now you're almost there. Go down. There you go. Oh man, buddy. The door is wide open. Oh man. I know, it's a bummer. I wish I could do something for you. I'll get my gun and shoot that son of a bitch. That way then it will get him out of here. Come on, you fucker. Well there's nothing for me to do at this point. Because I can't I can't really do much. Eventually it'll get the message that there's a door there. Move the fan again, see if that'll do something. <sighs> Maybe it'll think it's outside, there's a breeze or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I actually do not know what to do. Yeah, the bird is freaking freaked out. The uh, the other bird that I think was in here was smaller than that. That is a pretty big bird. So we're gonna have to get that uh, right above, right where that right where that uh, chimney goes up. There's a there's a grate like a screen around the top of the uh, the. Uh, stovepipe to prevent embers from going outside and catching stuff on fire so it must be damaged so we'll have to get that done and get that done and so hopefully there won't be any more birds come in so there's no reason to just look around well, I'll, I'll try one more thing I have to put my glasses back on what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the bird with bleach I think that'll do it. I figure if I split, spray it with bleach, it will go outside. Okay, we'll try one more thing, and then if this doesn't work, then I'll just let the bird figure it out. Because, there you go. Come on, buddy. Alright, now get down. Get off of there. Alright, now go down the other way. Okay, there's nothing to do. The bird will eventually get the message on how to get out of here. It did try to fly through this window right here. That's where it crashed and then landed in the sink. And so now it's trying to figure it out. There we go. Now go outside, you fuck, man. You're within a foot of freedom and you keep going. Can't you see outside how bright it is? There you go, there you go, now go down. There you go, down. There you go, he's out. Fly, let me 
little bird fly. Fly, little bird, fly. There he goes, right over there. He's going to Del Rio, Texas. Okay, that was good. I was really, I'm glad that was, uh, that ended well. I can take off my safety equipment now. You know, you've never seen anything like that on Wild Kingdom, have you? Huh? I mean, seriously. If I had one of those, uh, one of those hats, you know, the, that they wear in the outback, I'd wear one of those, but I don't have one. See you later.